Lake Powell is facing an escalating crisis as drought conditions deepen across the American Southwest. The reservoir, which plays a crucial role in supplying water and power to millions, has dropped to just 29% of its total capacity, or about 44% of the average for this time of year. Lake Mead is also struggling, standing at only 31% full, and together with other reservoirs in the Colorado River system, the overall capacity has slipped to just 38%. This prolonged decline is not only reshaping the landscape but also revealing unsettling consequences, such as the recent discovery of a submerged pickup truck containing human remains at Lake Powell, believed to belong to a man missing since 2023. Beyond these human stories, the operational outlook for the reservoir is alarming. Federal forecasts suggest that by January 2026, the lake's elevation could be around 3,538 feet a level more than 160 feet below full pool and dangerously close to the minimum threshold required to keep hydropower turbines running. Should water levels sink further, projections indicate the possibility of dropping below 3,525 feet by spring and in the worst scenarios, even below 3,490 feet, the point at which hydropower generation would have to stop altogether. At the root of the crisis is a shrinking water supply. Runoff forecasts that once promised nearly normal conditions have been repeatedly downgraded, with current inflows expected to be only about half of average. Warmer temperatures, parched soils that absorb more snowmelt, and a long-term decline in Colorado River flows, down about 20% due to climate change, are driving the problem. The Southwest's mega-drought, considered the most severe in more than a millennium, continues to push the system to its limits. The implications stretch far beyond the reservoir itself. More than 40 million people and vast areas of farmland depend on the Colorado River, while hydropower from Glen Canyon Dam provides electricity to households and industries across the region. The falling levels also threaten recreation ecosystems and the communities that rely on the lake for their livelihoods. Officials stress that the situation demands urgent action as existing water-sharing rules will expire in 2026, forcing states and federal agencies to negotiate new agreements that can withstand a hotter, drier future. Lake Powell's decline is therefore not just a story of drought but a stark reminder that climate pressures, inadequate water management, and increasing demand are colliding, leaving little time to secure a sustainable path forward.